Yeah. We haven't had much peace since they brought the critter in. First Tex gets a broken leg, then uh, Landers goes out and busts his arm. Yeah, there's Todd Drake. He'll never be able to sit in the saddle again. All from that horse of Marino. Cap Hughes would ought to let us shoot him. Just like we'd shoot its owner. Maybe he figures Marino will come back after the horse. Kind of a trap. And if you don't show up soon, there won't be enough rangers left to spring the trap. I guess that's why Cap put the hands-off sign on the critter. Listen, Tim, the old man will raise particular... Never mind about that, Hank. I've never read that order. At least not officially. I get you. So no one's ever ridden this horse but Marino, eh? No. Well, we'll spoil that record. Tell us when you're ready. All right. Got that blindfold, Hank? All right. Tell him, Moose. I'm sorry, sir. Wonder you didn't get your neck broken. Well, I thought of that, too, but there wasn't any safe way I could get out of the saddle. That was marvelous horsemanship. Well, maybe I had the advantage of thunder. I knew he'd been ridden before. I just thought it was a shame. A man like Marino was the only one a good horse like Thunder would stand for. Who is this fellow Marino? If you lived around here, you'd know. He's a tough hombre. Right bower to Big George. Oh, I've heard of him. He runs a cantino just across the river at Doe's Noches. That's just a sideline with Big George, though. He runs everything from cattle to Chinamen. The Blue Cat Cantina is just a blind. Turtle men don't have much luck getting anything out of it. I'll get some call, Captain. All right. Pardon me. 
I guess the bus must be ready to start. May I? Thank you. out of a job and want to break horses for a living, drop me a line at the Flying A, White Springs Post Office. Fine, but you didn't tell me who to address it to. Mary Allen. And you didn't say who'd be writing. Oh. Tim Valen. Goodbye. Goodbye. I just had a phone call from Plainview. What's up? Sheriff down there said something about being afraid of a lynching. Hmm. Those people are pretty hot-headed down that way. Phone went dead while he was telling me about it, but I'm almost sure he mentioned Marino. You want me to go down and put things over? Think you can obey orders this time? To the letter. All right, go ahead. But remember, no matter what happens, there's to be no lynching. Right. Hop over to the ranger station. What's up? Plainview's going wild. Mobs and posses and everything, and I'm riding after the rangers. Well, here we are. I'm telling you, this mob there means business. Sounds as though they're getting ready for a lynching party. Who's the guest? Marino and another fellow no one seems to know. Marino? You mean to say they got Pedro Marino? Yeah, and according to my mind, the sheriff ought to let them both swing instead of trying to take them over to Huntsville. Well, from a citizen's point of view, I can't say that I blame you. But I'm a state ranger, and neither one of those men is going to hang till the court says so. Say, if you mean that, we better hightail to the ranger station and get help. Oh, I think I can handle any more planes you can throw together. Did you say the sheriff was heading for Huntsville? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> well, I've done the best I could. I wish I could have got him on into Huntsville, though. It wasn't your fault, Len. You showed horse sense in stopping. Bring him along, boys. There's a big tree over in this grove. Marino, you've committed the last murder you'll ever do. Too late, Tim. Oh, so they got him away from you, huh? There's too many of them for me to handle them alone. I asked you to send me some rangers. Well, I'm here. One man? There's only one mob, isn't there? You don't mean you're going to try and stop them alone. I'm not going to try. I'm going to. Where are they? Last I saw them, they're heading down the road. over that lamp. Somebody coming in a hurry. Whoever it is, he has sense enough to stop. 
I look like a ranger. How'd he get here so quick? Got anything you want to say, Marino? Give me my guns. And Petro say plenty. You will get your guns after you swing. You want to leave any message? Oh, so you're going to die without telling us your name, huh? Giving you my name ain't going to make it any easier. There'll be no interference at this party, Ranger. Got those ropes. Reach for the sky. Take off those nooses, you men, and ride over there. Who invited you into this game? Me? <laughs> well, I'm just taking a hand. On whose invitation? Mine. I'm responsible for what goes on in this town. I'm in this with you. Fine. But we don't want any shooting. I suppose you got it fixed with those fellas. Get their guns. Now, uh, keep back. No crowding. You can't get away with this. You're not doing these men any harm by hanging them this way. You're doing them a favor. It isn't the hanging itself that counts. It's the preparation. A long, weary day spent in prison waiting for the trial. The false hopes held out by shyster lawyers. The wait for the pardon that never comes. And then that last day when all hope vanishes. Every hour seems like a year. That slow walk to the scaffold, adjusting the blindfold cap and putting on the noose. That's what strikes terror into their hearts and brings them to a full realization that they can't beat the law. Maybe you're right. I never looked at it like that. What are you aiming to do with them? Save them for the hangman over at Huntville. These men are going to swing with legal trimming. Don't sound reasonable to me. I'm not here to explain reasons. I'm just telling you to get going. We'll get them when they get over there. Now get going or... Or what? These guns have 12 slugs in them. And each slug has a number on it. Yours is number one. Big George, he sent him. Don't make any mistakes, Pedro. He's a ranger. I never thought you'd get away with it. I haven't. They knew either one of us could identify them, so they just pretended to quit. Do you think they'll try it again tonight? I know they will. In the darkness, we won't be able to recognize them. What are you going to do? My orders are to prevent a lynching. My friend, you come what you Americanos call uh, the nick of time. Well, I wasn't much ahead of time at that. A couple of things I want to tell you, Marino. I've ridden your horse, Thunder. Made him eat out of my hands. That's a lie. A grand lie. Thunder has no master but Pietro. You mean you're really freeing us? You won't shoot us as we leave, will you? I never shoot unarmed men. Why do you free us? That's the other thing I wanted to tell you. 
As a ranger, it's my duty to prevent armed violence. But don't forget I'm taking your trail just as soon as this blows over. I'm going to bring you back, both of you, to hang. But to hang legally. Now, you both better clear out of here before that mob changes its mind. I can't understand why Tim turned Marino loose. Well, he must have had a good reason. You said it. He knows how to handle horses and killers and... Uh, Women are the hardest to gentle. Yeah? Well, he sure had that girl eaten out of his hand the other day. The one on Slim's bus. <laughs> Hi, boys. Hello, Hello Jim. Hi, Sam. Well, I suppose you're all here for the fireworks. The only reason I'm here is because I have to be. Well, don't let it get under your hide. After all, I'm the goat. I wouldn't have the sense to do what you did. I'd have stuck by rules and regulations and be laying out on the board by this time. Well, I don't care what the captain says. You used your head. Sergeant Valance, you boys are all part of one of the finest law-enforcing bodies of men in the world. The code of the rangers is not a myth. It's strict. And it's not to be interpreted to suit the convenience of any one of us. You remolded this code to fit your own particular situation. You released two prisoners who were under suspicion of murder. There's no room in this organization for any man whose judgment has failed. No more room for him than for one who saw his duty and didn't perform it. I'll have to take your badge. You're no longer in the service. You're discharged without honor. The rest of you men are dismissed. Wait a minute, Valance. I want a few words with you before you leave. Smokey. Give this letter to the bus driver and tell him to mail it at Plainview. Close the door as you go out. Most men wouldn't have the nerve to do what you did with Marina. I don't get you, Captain. I figured you wouldn't. But I'd hoped you'd taken your dismissal seriously. Then you mean that I'm not dismissed? I'm still in the service? To everybody but me, you've been dismissed without honor. To me, you're the most honorable man in the company. Couldn't you have let me in on it? You might have given it away. One little action, one little word, and the rest of them would have seen through it. What is it you want me to do? I want everybody in Texas to think you showed the white feather. <laughs> there won't be any trouble about that now. The records down at the state capitol will show that you were dismissed for cowardice. If you're clever now, you will be able to work in with one of the worst gangs of killers and contraband runners this state has ever known. I swore I'd bring Marino in and turn him over to the law. He's only a small part of what I'm sending you after. I want Big George and the rest of them. It's not going to be easy. You won't have the state of Texas backing you up. If you get into difficulties, I won't be able to say a word to help you. Maybe this will speak for me. Don't forget, this is a more effective weapon than any gun that was ever made. I'll try and remember that. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. By the way, Captain, may I take Moreno's horse? <laughs> it isn't right according to rules and regulations, but if you want to risk having a search warrant out for you for horse stealing, <laughs> fine. <laughs> and if I want to communicate with you, I'll use Jose Ramos, the little sheep herder. So long. Bye. We'll ride over to the Flying A and hold up for a while. Just better we go to Dos Noches. Now I've got friends over there. Let's go. Come on. Jimmy! 
glad to see you. Oh, this is my friend, Pepe Gonzalez, my sister, Mary. It is one great pleasure, senorita. I'm always glad to meet Jimmy's friends. Jimmy, he loves his sister very much. Now Pedro understands why. I thought my brother said your name was Pepe, not Pedro. Pedro, it is what you Americanos call nickname. Oh, I see. Will you sit down? Gracias, senorita. Think I'd ever come home again? With all the trouble below the border, I've been worried. Oh, I've got lots of friends down there. Pedro will tell you. Muchos amigos, many friends. A big rancho. Very, very many cattle. A muy final caballos. Hello, Juana! Aren't you going to speak to Jimmy? Buenos dias, Senor Jimmy. Hi, Joanna. How are you? Very oh, this is my partner, Senor Pepe Conchale, Senora. How do you do, Senor? Con su permiso, Senorita. Yes, you may go. She seems upset about something. Juana thinks every strange Mexican she sees is Marino, the bandit. I, I have some things to do. You'll excuse me, won't you? Yes. Mary! Senor Gonzalez is leaving. You must say goodbye. So soon? Oh, there's lots of work to be done on our ranch. Horses to be broken for market, and... Oh, well, they're pretty wild down there. And, uh... Pedro is the only one who can handle them. You should have seen the man I saw riding last week at the ranger station. The horse was so wild, I was afraid he would kill Tim. Tim? Tim who? Sergeant Tim Valance. The horse was an outlaw just like its master. He belongs to Pedro Moreno. That is bad for Tim Valance. Someday Pedro Moreno will kill him. Adios, senorita. To meet one so charming, it's been a great pleasure. Goodbye. Adios, amigo. See you later. This Gonzalez, he is one? Yes. He is no Pepe Gonzalez. He is Pedro Moreno. Pedro Moreno? Juana here much from the beyond. She would know Pedro Moreno anywhere. Don't let her foolishness frighten you, sis. Wouldn't I know if he were Marino? Why, of course. I tell you, he's Pedro Moreno. Don't blame her, Jimmy. She thinks Marino's hidden behind every bush in Texas. <laughs> oh, of What's the matter? Bad news? No. Oh, love letter. Who's it from? Tim. Tim Valance. The ranger? Yes. He's coming down to see me, but I don't want to see him. He turned two murders loose and has been dismissed from the rangers for cowardice. If you're here when he comes, tell him I'm not in. Sure, I'll, I'll tell him. I tell her immediately, senor. Thank you. Oh, I thought 
thought if that job of breaking horses was still open, I might... I'm uh... sorry. I have all the cowboys I can use right now. Bad news travels fast, doesn't it? Do you think I turned those men loose because I was afraid for myself? What else can I think? Suppose I had a reason. A good one. Please go. I, I don't want to listen. I'm going to break my word to Captain Hughes. My dismissal was engineered for one purpose. To enable me to work from the other side. If the plan succeeds, we'll be able to accomplish what the Federal Department has never been able to. Get Big George. That's a picture of my brother, taken with me before he went away. Your brother? Do you know him? Oh, I think I've seen him. Once. I'm so glad you're still a ranger. But I'm not. Why? Why, what do you mean? Oh, forget it. Please tell me the truth. I was... I was kicked out for being yellow. Some dancer, eh, Morgan? She's okay, George. I'm a stranger around here, and I'm looking for some information. 
haven't any to give away. How about advice? None of that either. Then let me give you some. Keep your hands off that gun. I'm looking for Big George. Not here. I understand you're out to visit us. Yeah, the Rangers. Got no use for them at all. Not scared of Maya. What do you want? I wouldn't signal those men if I were you. I'm looking for Pedro Moreno. Where is he? How would I know? He's hiding from the law, and that means you know where he is. Not me. I ain't flashing with the law. All right. I'll do my own looking around. I've got a horse outside called Thunder. I might go inside that room and tell Pedro. You can forget what you're thinking, because I'm going in with you. My gun will be handy in case of an emergency. What, senors? Big George seems to be kind of tongue-tied, so maybe I better do the talking for him. This is just a friendly visit, so you can forget about those guns. No use to make a play now, Pedro. George doesn't seem to be able to get it through his head that we're going to be friends from now on. Sure, amigo. Just to prove it, I brought your horse Thunder back to you. Thought you might be able to use him. Thanks, senor. Muchas gracias. I'll go and see Thunder. Oh, he can wait. I've got a little business to talk over with you first. And as it happens to be private, you might ask your friends to leave. Pedro, you can forget what I said that day about bringing you back and hanging you. Something seems to tell me that you're never going to hang. Read that. Now, being out of a job, I'm naturally looking for work. Sure thing, senor. What's stopping you from starting? You. I've got all the help I need around the cantina. No, it isn't that. Then what? Contraband. You got us wrong, ain't you, Pedro? Si, senor. I've been on the other side of the fence too long not to know how tough the rangers are making it for you. Now, I can get your stuff, too, where nobody else could. How do I know you're not bluffing? Does that look as though I'm bluffing? Well, what do you say? Do I go to work for you, or, uh... Or what? Or set up in competition? I'll think it over. And I'll give you it till tomorrow. Well, when a good man goes bad, he goes all the way. We've had several brushes with him and the rest of Big George's outfit, but they keep getting the stuff over. Keep after him, boys. I hate to think of shooting it out with Tim. Him and me was buddies. You know your duty as Ranger. Yes, but Tim Valance has deliberately put himself out by the law. Well, maybe you're right. But what I said still goes. When a good man goes bad, he's worse than the worst bad man that ever lived. I'll subscribe to that. But a ranger can only see with one eye, even though the lawbreaker was once a friend.
in, Capitan. Thanks, Jose. Jim here? Si, senor. Hello, Captain. Hello, Tim. Jose, you better stand guard outside while the Captain is here. Si, senor. Sit down. I can't tell you how good it is to meet someone who isn't likely to start shooting any minute. I think we'd better call this thing off. <laughs> not a chance, not at this stage of the game. Things are getting hotter every minute. And more dangerous. What have you learned? Enough to make me want to stay on the job. Moreno and Morgan are loosening up a bit. I know this stuff goes north by plane. There's a shipment going out today and I'm going to the hideout with them. You're between two fires now. Big George and the Texas Rangers. I've had a hard time keeping out of Smokey's way. I'm anxious to clean this thing up, but I don't want to attend your funeral as the price of it. I hope you don't have to. <laughs> Just a minute. Well, it looks clear outside. Good luck to you, Tim. Thanks, Tim. dollars worth here. But we're taking awful chance leaving that much stuff in the cabin. It ought to be on its way. It will fly tonight. Everything's ready. A lot of happy dreams in this package. It's all right if you want to dream that way. No, not me. See that string's coming unfastened. Let me tie it for you. Sure, go right ahead. Must be kind of risky, isn't it? Flying this stuff? No, we're covered. I deliver it to Gus the Swede in Chicago and he pays me the dough. There's nothing to it. Okay. Well, I'll see you boys at the end of the month. Yeah, everything looks all right. Come on. I'm glad we got that off our hands. We better separate and meet at the blue cat. Well, that sounds like a good idea. So long. So long. Adios. Don't pull that gun. I'm shooting. Hello, 
of Smokey. I didn't want to do it to him, but I had to. No hard feelings. We're a long way from anywhere. That wound's liable to give you trouble. Go on if you get that bullet out. What's the matter? Don't you want to do it? There's a knife over there in my saddlebag. Come on, Smokey. Get to work. It's five hours hard riding to town. You ain't in no condition to ride. If there's an automobile at the Flying A, I'll be back by sundown. If there ain't, I'll be here at dawn with a wagon. All right. Senor Tim. I'm all right. What happened? I'm all right. I'm over here. Jose? Está bueno. Vamos a la cama. Get here. Jose said you kept calling for me when you were delirious. Does anybody else know I'm here? Captain Hughes. Jose notified him and he came over with the doctor. He told me the truth about your dismissal. You shouldn't have done that. Lie still and rest. <coughs> Don't talk anymore. Good morning, Captain. Morning, ma'am. How's the patient? Much better. That's fine. Mind if I see him alone? No, of course not. Oh, come in, Captain. Looks like you're going to be up on your feet in no time now. Yes, and when I am, I'm going to be heading straight back for the blue cap. I found their cash. In an old abandoned cabin up on the mesa overlooking the head of Calabasas Canyon. They're using a small cabin plane. It's got black and white markings and the number is uh, XL397. Pilot told me he makes deliveries to Gus to Sweden, Chicago. Did you get the pilot's name? No. But I got something better. His fingerprint. You'll find him there in my holster. You've given me enough to nab the pilot and get a line on the wholesalers in Chicago. 
I'll pick up Big George and make a clean sweep. Unless we get him with the goods, it won't do any good. Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. Your next stop's going to be at the hospital in San Antonio. Oh, no, it's not. I promised Moreno and that other fellow that I'd see him hung. My orders are that you are not to return to the Blue Cat. Sorry, Captain, but I'm not taking orders now. The records show that I was dishonorably discharged from the Texas Rangers. I'll clear the records of that. A little private understanding that you and I had isn't going to affect them up at state headquarters. I'm a free agent now. Well, looks like I'm going to have to let you have your own way. But I'll keep some rangers on the trail up at the Hot Springs. Ramos can get in touch with him if you need them. Uh, a lot of good that's going to do a fellow in my boots. I'm a wanted man as far as they're concerned. Smokey proved that point. You took an awful chance letting that ranger fire at you point blank. Yeah. That a little careless, I reckon. Sure, that was a frame-up about Valance being kicked out of the Rangers? Heard it with my own ears right up at the Flying A. I'm going to pay Ramos' cabin a visit. You're all going with me. Leading now? Yes. I'll have this job cleaned up in a week. Please give it up. It's too dangerous. But they haven't any suspicions. Smokey shooting me was the best thing ever could have happened. Just a minute. My sister might be in there. I'd like to get her out before anything stops. You haven't forgotten the promise Valance made you at Plainview, have you? Oh, I'm not afraid of him keeping that. All right. We'll give you just three minutes to get her out. What is it? It's my brother. Jimmy. Put away that gun. I said, put away that gun. This is my brother. He's known as the Texas Kid. And he rides with Big George and Moreno. Tell him it isn't so, Jimmy. What's the use? He's known it since that day he turned Moreno and Neil loose up at Plainview. Then, then you were the man with Moreno. I'm sorry, Mary. He had his chance to keep going, even though I didn't intend giving it to him. But he's my brother. It wouldn't make any difference. I'd have to take him, even if he were my own brother. I don't care about myself, but you've got to get Mary out of here. Why? Big George has this place surrounded, and he knows you're a ranger. Well, his time's up. All right, boys. Let him have it.
They got Captain Hughes. Come on. If it hadn't been for you. Well, if it hadn't been for him, maybe I'd have been out there with the rest of them. Maybe it's better to die on this side of the fence, doing right. <coughs> I've got to take you in. Maybe you can prove to a jury you've been working undercover. But I doubt it. Captain Hughes knows all about it. Sorry, Tim, but Captain Hughes is dead. Hughes dead? You busted up one of the biggest contraband gangs in the country. But you put your own head in a noose doing it. I don't see why the jury didn't believe Jose Ramos and me. The evidence was too strong against me. I couldn't prove I hadn't been run out of the Rangers. I won't give up. I'll make them believe me. Well, Smokey, it's good of you to come and say goodbye to me. Goodbye or nothing. It seems that Captain Hughes wrote a letter to himself the day you planned that frame-up. I got it right here. That letter's been in his desk for weeks, unopened. And what it says ought to make Texas mighty proud of a ranger, and especially proud of Sergeant Balance. Why, Smokey, I... Will you open this door? Wait a minute. What the... what was... Oh, Smokey. You forgot your key. <laughs> <laughs>